So I'm, I'm Sam Brabham. I'm 26 and uh, I live in Fitzroy in Melbourne. Uh, and I've also got live with my girlfriend and we've got a dog together called Bailey or Basil is his sort of certified nickname as well. I was born and raised in England for the most part, hence the accent. Um, I suppose last year, I think it was the start of last year, January, I came over and ended up staying. So now I live here in Melbourne full time. This is my, this is home for me now. Uh, my first car, I don't know what they're called over here. It was a Vauxhall Corsa. It's like the smaller one to an Astra, basically. But that was my first car and my second car. I actually upgraded. I used to just watch Senna videos with my best mate. And that's how I got into Formula One and racing. I wasn't through my dad, really. It was because I watched Senna videos and thought it was pretty cool. I started in like arrive and drive, just hire carts, basically, just to kind of get a feel for it. My dad, my dad was quite, he never pushed me into it. I was probably 14 and a half, 15 by the time I, I properly stepped into a real go-kart. Fortunately, I got into a race car at, I think it was 18. Well, with a surname like yours, surely you'd be into motor racing. And I was like, oh God, I said to him, I said, look, my dad told me not to mention the racing. I've, I've had the privilege of mixing with some of my absolute heroes in, in racing. Sterling Moss, Jackie Stewart, John Surtees, Emerson Fittipaldi, um, Alan Prost, like just like mega stars of motor racing. And all of them were just so nice. Hi, Sam, how are you doing? I got to share a track with them and meet them um, on regular occasions. The, the best book I've read, and probably read a few times, is a, a book called The Secret. Um, it's not for everyone, depends on what you believe in, but my favourite film's not a massive film guy, to be honest with you. Not, not a huge TV series, for sure. Um, big fan of Suits on Netflix. That's probably one of my favourite I, it's something that I'm. I really enjoy. I enjoy like the sim stuff. Enjoy game gaming with my friends, or or especially particularly racing games. So, so I'm doing like a YouTube series of of that. Yeah. So I enjoy presenting. Enjoy making content. Uh, I've done vlogs of my racing beforehand. So I thought, well, why not? Why not give it a go? Other things like you know, I love playing soccer or football. That's something that I I really enjoy doing. But I've actually I don't know if you can see behind me. I've got some records on my mm -hmm. wall. Yep, I've got a rec my record my record players behind me. I love like I love my music, particularly live music. And I used to play the drums. My mum forced me to play the piano when I was younger. She was like, "If you want to play the drums, you have to learn the piano first. It's what my dad always used to say to me before I went out racing: "Breathe and believe." But, but to me, it means take a deep breath and just believe you can do it. You know, before you do anything, whether it's a race, whether it's qualifying, whether it's getting up in the morning, whatever it's going to be, just take, take a breath, breathe it in and, 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 and believe in, in yourself. For example, my granddad won in 66 the Zambor Grand Prix. And at the time people were saying he was too old, like he's not, you know, he's not got it anymore, do all this or that. And he arrived on the, onto the grid walk where you know, he was going to his car with a walking stick and a long fake beard and hobbled to his car to kind of make a joke at everyone saying, well, you think I'm too old? Well, I'm going to show you. Ended up winning the race and the world championship in 66. And I had the absolute privilege of driving the BT-19, which is the, the exact car that Jack won the 1966 world championship in. The only driver ever to win a world championship in a car of his own construction as team boss and is with his name and all of that. That was actually this year. I got out and I have to admit, I, I was almost in tears. Like it was, that car to me and the family means so much. 